So Trinity Mother Francis is introducing a great new program. It's the new OB Hospitalist Group program. So we have Dr. Felisa Adams joining us to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're happy to. So first and foremost, tell us about this new program and maybe what you guys had prior to this. Sure, so we've hired a group, they're called OBHG, OB Hospitalist Group, and they have uh, board certified uh, obstetricians that will be in house 24 hours a day. Um, that is for unassigned patients who come in that do not have um, a assigned, they don't have a physician in the community, or they help out other physicians uh, with, with their um, deliveries and things like that. And we're also starting at the same time an OB emergency department so that every woman that comes into our labor and delivery unit will be seen by a physician. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really great for the community and for the uh, physicians and the patients. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So this will be all right in your labor and delivery area? It is. It's all in that it's the same as it's been. We've just kind of moved a few things around and um, added this new service. Very cool. Are you the first hospital around here to have this opportunity? We are, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. So we're very excited about it. And we believe that the patients are going to be as well as the physicians. The physicians, the community physicians are very excited about it. Right. So. And I imagine there's tons of health benefits for the people that this helps. Out. It does. They're, they're, every person that comes into labor and delivery, every mom will now be seen by a physician. Where before the nurses would assess them, call the physicians, and send them home, and now a board certified obstetrician will see them. So that's a great benefit for the yes, community. That's awesome. Yes. Wow. Well, I guess this has been going on a while in, in, in our country, uh, just in, in maybe larger cities? Or? Probably for the last decade, um, and it's just gaining a lot of speed, and it really is what most uh, most places are doing. It allows the private physicians to, if they're home in bed, they don't have to, they don't have to be awoken to answer questions or, you know, minor things. Um, they're still, the, the local physicians still will take care of their patients, but this just gives them a little bit of an added benefit as well. Somebody's there. Great, and then what kind of spurred this? Because I imagine there was a starting point. Well, we had local physicians that were sort of doing this, but they've become a federally qualified, excuse me, federally qualified health center, and they're no longer able to do this for us. And so we hired the outside uh, group to do it. Awesome. Uh, so I take it then, uh, uh, what about insurance folks that come in for that? Is that accepted there? I know that's a new animal mm -hmm. these days. Yes. It, is. it changes. Uh, they, this group, so the hospital will take anybody that comes through the doors. There is no restrictions whatsoever, um, but insurance, no insurance, it's all, it's all comers. It's okay. all comers, so nobody will be excluded. Awesome, and then do you need to have any sort of appointment or can you just walk through the doors? No ma'am, this is, this is the beauty of it. It, it, is, it is like an emergency department, mm -hmm. and so no, if you need us, we're there. We just have the physicians there for, for the patients. Awesome, well thank you so much we for sharing. Thank you. All of this. No, thanks Great for having information. us. Thank you. All right, well, coming up next on